Why are people quitting nursing school? Coronavirus and online schooling sucks. Hello, my name is Jeremy. I'm a paramedic and current nursing student and welcome to The Real Truth. Like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. We do videos on Wednesdays and Sundays and let's go ahead and get started. Why are people quitting nursing school? Coronavirus and online schooling sucks. Now, I'm not saying everybody's quitting, but at this point right now, the way that uh, things are going with healthcare providers, can you really blame them? Students are not really too worried about the aspect of the coronavirus. We know it's a pandemic. They're worried about a number of things, like, for example, being safe with the patient, doing vital signs, effectively doing a head to toe, being able to get medications, actually doing these things, these things that they're actually going to do as a nurse. Unfortunately, without uh, without actually doing these things and going to clinicals, it puts them at a huge disadvantage and, pro and makes them really uncomfortable about the setting that they're getting themselves into. Not to mention, let's just say that you're able to become an amazing nurse and whatever and stuff after graduation, you still have the issue of politicians being a, having to uh, have an impact of what you can or cannot do when science backs up your theories of what's going on in the country. Even some of my classmates are flat out surprised that like that politics has such an impact on healthcare even when the evidence is there. For example, wearing a mask. They're against it. Evidence goes with it. And yet they still want to go against it. Not to mention the first uh, uh, the first start of the shutdown, we had a lack of surprise and it actually put us more in danger. Not everybody's willing to do that. Some people are willing to put themselves in t into danger, but some people just aren't. Nor should they have to. They have to have the supplies. Now, in regards to the schooling, like we, the only way that it's uh, that they're really going to learn how to do blood pressures, medications, and uh, all these things is if they're actually doing it on patients. If they're practicing on a teddy bear, how can they possibly, no matter no matter if you have the best student, get the right experience? Which is the reason why I am really glad that they, that a lot of places have actually reopened up clinicals for that purpose because these are future nurses who are about to come up there and and it's not just nurses it's like firefighters it's also paramedics it's all of them across the board and yes online Zoom sessions one on ones help but it can it's not like the same thing because you're not lifting the mannequins you're not get, you're not doing infusion pumps you're not basically on there sorry for sorry I have my toddler in the background. For example, like setting up a piggy bag and an infusion pump, doing blood administration, doing chest draws, doing uh, doing press room dressings. That's stuff that you have to practice. Like if you're doing it online, there's no way you can actually do it well actually being in person and meeting in labs or something. So we got to have some type of plan for this. And unfortunately, some schools aren't adapting well, so it's getting a sketchy thing. So some people are dropping out. Some people are just basically waiting until they figure this whole thing out. And it makes sense. If you are paying for a product, especially in some places where it's like a private institute where it can range from like 60 to 80 to 90 to in California, it's 100 grand a year. You want to get the most for your money. Some people are legitimately feeling ripped off because they're not getting what they're paying for. And in all honesty, it's not the teacher's fault. It's just you, like we have to adapt better and stuff. Like it, at that point, the system programmers got to find a better plan to basically do some social distancing, eliminating labs, and making it mandatory for certain schedules for it to happen. That's their responsibility. That's what the educational uh, planners get paid to basically do. They really need to figure that out. And I'm not saying all schools don't have it figured it out. I think for the most part, my school is pretty much adjust, adjusting pretty well. But it, that's not the case for a lot of other schools. So you tell me, what have your school basically done to make it feel more comfortable so you feel like you're a competent nurse when you come out there? Uh, let's go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.